so 12th class we were discussing the connectivity program and uh, in the last lecture i have discussed uh, the use of uh, this uh, display all function how to display all the records of the table okay now our today's concept is display many fetch many function fetch many function is used when you want to display n number of records you specify in the beginning how many records you want to display and uh, only those number of records will get displayed right now i have taken the function display many okay this is the user defined function and uh, here i have declared the variable con1 the connection object which already i have told you so many times then i have created the cursor object c using the cursor function okay now n is 3 here n 3 means i want to display three records okay i am generally giving the command select star from emp1 so uh, i was discussing about uh, fetch many function okay <coughs> so i have passed n as 3 n 3 means only three records will get displayed suppose in your table you are having the uh, 10 records but you have given the value n n means 3 here n is 3 it means i have given the command to display only the first three records as per the given number of uh, records and it will display first three records okay how to use fetch many create your command select star from table name then assign this command to variable query aap kisi bhi variable mein command dal do i have assigned this command to variable query then using the execute function put your variable as parameter and execute function is used along with the cursor object execute function is used along with the cursor object okay then we are to use function fetch many fetch many function is used to display n number of records where value of n is provided by the user value of n is provided by the user and whatever is the value of n pass that value as parameter inside this function ab aapke n number of records display honge then use the for loop in order to print the records for x in data ye data sare records data mein aa chuke for x in data x means first record then second record then third record and this is how i have display the records am i clear up till here all of you any questions any queries up till here any queries up till here please i just run this code see here display n number of records ye dekho pehle teen record print hue don't see the other output just check this output which i have shaded 
is the output visible to everyone yes plus two class so these are the first three records which are displayed here clear to all all right now moving further fetch one function fetch all you have done fetch many you have done now third function is fetch one now what is the use of fetch one function fetch one function is used to print only one record okay when you want to print exactly one record that time you make use of fetch one function uh i have used this connection object and cursor this is very much clear to you now okay moving further create a query select star from table name where e code is percent s this percent s is again the format string it is the format string it will be replaced by the value that you will be given giving here in the form of tuple command ka matlab kya hai ki aap kisi particular employee ka record print karwana chahte you want to display record of any particular employee okay got it so whosoever record you want to display input the e code of that usi ka e code do jiska record tum print karwana chahte ho suppose i want to display the record of employee number uh, employee with the e code 111 so i will write the command here select star from emp1 where e code equal to 111 but i am not giving 111 here i am not giving 111 here what i am giving i am giving format string percent s i am giving format string percent s okay clear to all then i am giving 111 here in the form of tuple 111 here i am giving in the form of tuple and assign it to variable n this value of tuple will be replaced here percent s format string will be replaced with this value of tuple that you have given here have i made myself clear to all is the meaning clear up till here what i want to say all right then execute command first parameter is the query first parameter is the query this query second parameter is this tuple value okay then c dot fetch one fetch one function aapne use kiya by using the cursor object and assign the record to a variable i have taken the variable record you can take any variable right now when you want to assign when you want to display the value of one record only you have to do the type casting taki python mein wo display ho jaye record of 0 record of 1 record of 2 record of 3 record of 0 is e code what is the type of e code ye dekho idhar table mein jaake e code ka type kya hai integer e name ka type kya hai string e cell ka type kya hai float and what is the type of e department string so accordingly i have type cast here record of zero ka matlab hai e code e code ki value ko integer mein convert kiya aur ek variable mein dal diya record one it is of string type string ko en mein dal diya record 2 record of 2 means salary salary float type ki hai usko float type mein convert karke 
ये वाले वेरिएबल में डाल दिया जिसका नाम ई एस है वॉटेड देन रिकॉर्ड ऑफ थ्री रिकॉर्ड ऑफ थ्री इज अगेन इन टीचर दैट इज ई डिपार्टमेंट डायरेक्टली मैंने उसको असाइन कर दिया और किसी वेरिएबल में डाल दिया अब सारे फील्ड को प्रिंट करवा दो सबको प्रिंट करवा दो एंड इट विल डिस्प्ले योर वन पर्टिकुलर रिकॉर्ड दैट सेटिस्फाइज द क्राइटीरिया दैट सेटिस्फाइज द क्राइटीरिया ओके सी हेयर सिंगल रिकॉर्ड चेक इट चेक द सिंगल रिकॉर्ड ओवर हेयर एम आई क्लियर फैच मैनी फंक्शन इज क्लियर फैच वन फंक्शन इज क्लियर टू ऑल दिस इज हाउ टू डिस्प्ले ओनली वन रिकॉर्ड इफ यू वॉन्ट आई होप टोटली क्लियर टू एवरी वन राइट ओके सो आई एम क्विटिंग द पाइथन विंडो हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द न्यू चैप्टर right that is the last chapter of your uh, board examination the chapter is networking so daily i will be dividing the time half time i will be discussing python python coding and in the half time i will be discussing the networking chapter okay is ms word window visible to everyone yes please hurry up okay now this uh, chapter is purely theoretical chapter but you will be having case studies comprehension type questions and straight definitions from this chapter right clear because in your term 2 you have stack networking and my sql two and a half topics networking complete my sql complete and stack coding okay so pay attention when i am discussing this chapter right now what is network beta ek hota hai single computer jis pe hum kaam kar rahe hain a single computer uh, whether desktop or whether laptop okay it is not connected to network wo hamara stand alone computer a computer which is not connected on the network is a stand alone computer when we connect when we combine two or more computers together with the objective that they will exchange the data they will exchange the resources they will have better communication that is called networking when two or more computers they are connected with each other with the purpose with the objective that they will share the software resources they will exchange the files they will exchange the data okay that is called computer network now what are the benefits of computer network suppose uh, in a lab there are uh, there are 10 users there are 10 users who are using independent computers okay and they are not on network they are independent autonomous independent stand alone users they are not connected on the network if first user want to have printer we have to purchase separate printer for all the users maan lijiye users ko print out nikal de to har user ko printer dena padega that will increase the hardware cost then if anybody want scanner to usko scanner leke dena padega again the hardware cost increases now suppose we have connected them on network we have connected them on network humne unko network pe combine kar diya now instead of purchasing separate printer separate scanner for everyone we will purchase one common printer 
one common scanner for all the 10 users and all the 10 users will be using them commonly. That will reduce the hardware cost. If user one has lost any file, that file can be taken from another user that can be transferred to another user. Okay, got it? So this is, these are the benefits of networking. You can share hardware resources. You can share software resources. It will reduce the hardware cost. You can communicate with each other. You can exchange information with each other. Plus security is provided. Right? So these are the benefits of networking. Then is what are the major components of network? Node. Beta node is known by two other names, host and workstation. Other name of node is host or workstation. The computer which is connected on the network. The computer which is connected on the network is called node or workstation or host. Computer which is not connected on the network, it is called standalone computer. I hope the difference is clear to everyone. A computer which is part of network, which is connected to network is a node. And node is also known as host or workstation. But computer which is not connected to network, that is called standalone computer. Then is server. Beta server is the main computer that provides, that facilitates, that manages all type of resources. Server helps in sharing of data, sharing of software resources, hardware resources. If client has any request, client needs any data, client computer will send the request to the server. Server will accept the request from the client, will fulfill the request and will send back the desired page back to the client. So server is the main computer that facilitates and manages all the network resources. Okay. Then is client. Just now I have told you, we are client. We are the users. Okay, server is at the remote area, remote end. We send request to the server. server, server fulfills the request and send back the result to us, right? So client computer is the host computer that requests for the services for, from server. It can be any uh, software service. Maybe client requires any software file Okay, so server will send that file to the client computer. Now, NIU, Network Interface Unit. When we want to connect on the network, we need a special card that is called Network Interface Card in order to establish the connection between the client and the server. That card is known as Network Interface Unit. Then is your communication channel. I give one example to you and you tell me the answer for it. Those who know the answer, they raise your thumb. Uh, you want to send a message on a WhatsApp to your friend. How you will send it? What will be your medium? What will be the channel of distribution between you and your friend? Yes. Aapne apne friend ko WhatsApp ke upar ek message bhejna hai. What will be the medium? How can you send? Yes, please tell me the answer. Who will tell? Twelfth class, are you all here only? Yes, unmute yourself. 
गुड मॉर्निंग सर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग सर इट कैन बी अ टेक्स्ट मैसेज और अ वॉइस नोट नो आई एम आस्किंग यू वांट टू सेंड अ व्हाट्सएप मैसेज व्हाट मीडियम यू विल ऑफ व्हाट विल बी द मीडियम द चैनल बाय व्हिच यू विल सेंड द मैसेज सो वो तो सोशल मीडिया ही होगा फिर स्मार्टफोन होगा आपका हां जी हां जी आपका स्मार्टफोन या लैपटॉप लैपटॉप में भी व्हाट्सएप चल जाता है है ना मैं मैं वही पूछ रहा हूं सो अ चैनल अ कम्युनिकेशन चैनल मींस द मीडियम द चैनल ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द इंटरफेस बाय व्हिच यू कैन एक्सचेंज इंफॉर्मेशन बिटवीन ईच अदर the medium the channel can be wireless or wired right then comes protocol for protocol i give you one live example you are student of the school when you enter the school you are to follow the rules and regulations which are given by the school which are framed by the school you are bound to follow the reg the rules of the school ठीक है दीज रूल्स आर कॉल्ड प्रोटोकॉल सिमिलरली वेन वी आर ऑन नेटवर्क वी आर टू फॉलो सम गाइडलाइंस वी आर टू फॉलो सम रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी कैन कम्युनिकेट विद ईच अदर बाय फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर गाइडलाइंस प्रॉपर रूल्स सो दीज रूल्स आर कॉल्ड प्रोटोकॉल दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर कम्युनिकेशन विद ईच अदर ऑन नेटवर्क communication can be between host to host or host to server or server to host okay then is network services uh you have lost one file same file is available with the second user and you all are on network you can share the file jaise maan lo uh मैंने आपको व्हाट्सएप पे ई नोट्स भेजे ओके किसी बच्चे से बाय मिस्टेक ई नोट्स डिलीट हो गए रिमूव हो गए वो बच्चा वही वाले ई नोट्स किसी और से मंगवा सकता है कि नहीं मंगवा सकता कैन अ चाइल्ड आस्क हिज और हर फ्रेंड टू सेंड द सेम ई नोट्स यस और नो टेल मी यस प्लीज Who will answer this question? Yes, Mandreet, unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Suppose you have uh, lost one e notes. Can you get it from your friend if your friend has the same e notes? Yes, sir. Yes, via network because you are on WhatsApp. and whatsapp pe whatsapp means we are connected with the network okay so you can exchange files with your friends right first of all let me see how many are attentive in the class pratham sharma raise your thumb if you are here in the lecture you have muted your audio varun chauhan raise your thumb if you are attending the class ओके जतन अंशिता नंदिनी सुखमणी विदिशा ऑल ऑफ यू रेज योर थम टू सो एवर नेम आई एम अनाउंसिंग गौरव रुचिका मोहित मौलिक अभिषेक कपिल जसदेव समृद्धि वंशिका रेज योर थम ऑल ऑफ यू इफ यू आर हेयर इन द लेक्चर Alright. Then is Arpanet. Beta Arpanet was the first project that was started in the year 1969 by the U.S. Department of Defense. And what was the main objective of this project? In order to connect computers at military and defense, military or defense area. I mean, जितने भी computers थे. उन सभी कंप्यूटर्स को आपस में कनेक्ट करना था दैट वाज द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट आर पेनेट एडवांस्ड रिसर्च प्रोजेक्ट एजेंसी नेटवर्क 
okay then is internet you have one network in one area one network in the second area second network in third area third network likewise in in the entire world you have so many networks we are not uh, talking about one particular network we are talking about multiple networks which are scattered all over the world okay clear when all these networks which are scattered all over the world they are network networks ka network kiya jaye पूरे वर्ल्ड में जितने भी नेटवर्क्स हैं, उनका दोबारा नेटवर्क किया जाए दैट इज कॉल्ड इंटरनेट द ग्लोबल नेटवर्क ऑफ नेटवर्क्स, और वी कैन आल्सो डिफाइन इंटरनेट एज द वर्ल्ड वाइड कनेक्ट वर्ल्ड वाइड कनेक्शन ऑफ नेटवर्क ऑफ नेटवर्क्स, नेटवर्क ऑफ नेटवर्क्स, नेटवर्क्स की आगे नेटवर्क and it is not restricted to one area or one city or one country it is across continents and countries worldwide okay the global coverage is there then moving to the next topic interspace you are chatting with your friend on whatsapp you are chatting with your friend on instagram or snapchat you are sharing video files you are listening songs online you are putting your status online you are sharing video in the group okay all this exchange of information is possible due to the client server program that is called interspace as it enables all the users to communicate in the real time okay real time means online using internet then is nsf national science foundation sabse pehle aaya tha arpanet 1969 mein 1980 mein nsf aaya nsf stands for national science foundation what was the main objective of nsf the main objective of nsf was to combine computers at universities and other educational institutions arpanet 1969 nsf in 1980 but in this scenario the private businessmen they get ignored they were not covered under arpanet they were not covered under nsf so what private businessmen they do they created their own private network then arpanet nsf and private networks they all club together they all combine together at world wide level and thus internet came into existence in the year 1990 this is the brief history of internet which i have told in 1990 internet came into existence okay then is gateway you have one network of lan type second network of man type third network of the wan type fourth network again lan fifth network pan type or can type so all these this similar networks they can be combined together by a device that is called gateway right ab नेटवर्क आपस में कनेक्टेड है नेटवर्क आर कनेक्टेड टू गेट वे ऑल्सो बिकॉज जस्ट आई टोल्ड यू विद्प ऑफ गेट वे यू कैन कनेक्ट और इस्टेब्लिश अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन दिस सिमिलर नेटवर्क राइट देन ऑल दीज दिस एंटायर स्ट्रक्चर इन टर्न इज कनेक्टेड टू सम इंटरनल पार्ट some internal device to which all the components are finally connected that internal interconnecting structure is called backbone the central node the central hub 
the central area where all the other parts get combined finally that central structure is known as backbone then the most important topic of networking is switching techniques now what do you mean by switching techniques beta switching techniques kya hoti hai teen tarah ki hoti how data is transferred from one part to other part it is of three type circuit switching message switching packet switching and inke upar ek question to expect kar hi lo you expect one question at least on this topic first i tell you the meaning of circuit switching you want to exchange you want to send data to your friend on whatsapp okay or you want to chat with your friend you want to exchange information with your friend unless and until there is proper connection between you two you cannot transfer the files so according to circuit switching the first step is to create a connection between server and client or between two computers and when the connection is established then only the information can be transferred from one computer to another computer aapke friend ke aapke friend ne internet on hi nahi kiya hua your friend has not on the internet can you chat with your friend on whatsapp yes please can you chat with your friend on whatsapp your friend has not on whatsapp internet hai ya aapke friend ke paas so how can you chat when your friend is not on network chatting tabhi possible hai agar dono parties online baithi hain aur connection establish hua hua hai right this is circuit switching then your next topic is message switching a message switching technique kya kehti hai ए पर्सन ने बी पर्सन को मैसेज भेजना ए पर्सन ने मैसेज भेजा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द मैसेज विल गो टू द स्विचिंग ऑफिस एंड इट विल गेट स्टोर्ड इन द बफर इन द मेमरी देन स्विचिंग ऑफिस विल चेक द फ्री लाइन कि चैनल फ्री हुआ कि नहीं लाइन फ्री हुई के लिए अगर लाइन फ्री है तो वो डाटा अगले स्विचिंग ऑफिस को भेज देगा फिर अगले स्विचिंग ऑफिस पे डाटा स्टोर किया जाएगा और ये चेक किया जाएगा कि लाइन फ्री कब है अगर लाइन फ्री है तो आगे डाटा को रिलीज किया जाता एंड दिस साइकिल कॉन्टिन्यूस टिल द डाटा रीचेज सेफली एंड सिक्योरली टू द डेस्टिनेशन due to this cycle this switching technique is also known as store and forward technique right then third and the last type of switching is packet switching the technique and the principle behind packet switching is similar to the message switching but there are two strong differences in the case of message switching when you are transferring the data there is no limit up to which amount of data you can transfer you can send data of any amount it can be large data that you can transfer via message switching okay but when you are transferring data in the packet switching only fixed size fixed amount of data can be sent ek restriction hai aap pe ki aap itne size ka data hi bhej sakte usse zyada nahi bhej sakte packet switching then in the case of message switching i told you data first goes to the switching office and it is stored in the memory there 
so in the message switching data is stored in the disk and when the channel is free then data is sent to other switching ports but in packet switching data is stored directly in the main memory that is your primary memory am i clear up till here all of you